Lambs and Goats. Matthew chapter 25, verse 31 through 34 states, When the Son of Man comes in His glory, and all the angels with Him, He will sit on His glorious throne. All the nations will be gathered before Him, and He will separate the people one from another as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. He will put the sheep on His right and the goats on His left. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my father, take your inheritance, the kingdom prepared for you since the creation of the world. When Jesus returns in his glory, as all of mankind will be divided up into lambs and goats, he will inherit a kingdom that was prophesied about since the creation. Accordingly, through today's verse, let us examine when this kingdom prophesied about since the creation will be inherited, a time when we may be lambs, not goats. Matthew chapter 25, verse 31 states, When the Son of Man comes in His glory and all the angels with Him, He will sit on His glorious throne. The result of things you do is your glory. It is when these things are your own actions that you can reveal your glory. If this is the case, then will Jesus sit on his throne in his glory? Matthew chapter 19, verse 28 states, Jesus said to them, Truly, I tell you, at the renewal of all things, when the Son of Man sits on his glorious throne, you who have followed me will also sit on twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. The new kingdom is not a place where mankind can barely live to a hundred years old. The lifespan of a person will be like a tree in that kingdom. When a person is healthy, affluent, and successful, they can see and admire a field of flowers. However, if a person is sad, sick, they cannot see the flowers in front of them as beautiful. Likewise, that this new world will seem beautiful means our hearts will be at peace and we will be happy. That the new kingdom will be new means the creation of a new heaven and earth. It means this world will become a new heaven and earth and be transformed anew. Revelations chapter 21 verse 5 states, He who was seated on the throne said, I am making everything new. Then he said, Write this down, for these words are trustworthy and true. If we look at the main Bible verse for today, it says, The Son of Man will return in glory with angels. And when he does, all mankind will come in his presence and will be split up as lambs to the right and goats to the left. Like this, judgment at the end of time will comprise of dividing between lambs and goats. A lamb is a lamb, and a goat a goat. There is no in-between. Lambs to the right and goats to the left. The main Bible verse refers to a new heaven and earth, the kingdom of Christ, where a promise to put the lambs on the right and the goats to the left was made. Matthew chapter 25, verse 34 states, Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my father, take your inheritance, the kingdom prepared for you since the creation of the world. It is said, those who are on his right are those who will be blessed. This means those on the left will receive woe. Therefore, those who are with God are on the right. He said to those on his right to come and receive the inheritance, which is the kingdom, which has been prepared for them since the creation of the world. God's kingdom was prepared for since the creation of the world. The kingdom of God was prophesied about since the creation of the world. The Garden of Eden is this kingdom of God which was prophesied about since the creation. When Moses recorded Genesis, he recorded events that occurred 2,500 years before him. Moses could not have known what occurred 2,500 years ago, nor could he have seen the Garden of Eden from 2,500 years before him. So how could he have recorded events from 2,500 years before his own birth? He saw that through a spiritual vision and saw it spiritually, not physically, and recorded it that he was able to record with such detail something he saw with his spirit shows how deep and unknowable the spiritual world is. Matthew chapter 25, verse 35 through 40 states, I was hungry, and you gave me something to eat. 
I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger, and you invited me in. I needed clothes, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you looked after me. I was in prison, and you came to visit me. Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you something to drink? When did we see you a stranger and invite you in, or needing clothes and clothe you? When did we see you sick or in prison and go to visit you? The king will reply, Truly I tell you, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. The sentence, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me, was said to the Lamb to the right of him. God made all people, the powerful, the rich, the high, to the lowest, those just starting out in their faith, those without belief and not much to look at, everyone. Those with money and power were also made by God, and he showers them with sunlight in their turn. But all of you who are made righteous should know you will enter the ranks of the righteous, enter the kingdom of the righteous, and be treated as lambs when you treat the lowest the same as the Lord. Treat them well, care for them, clothe them, and love them as the Lord. Accordingly, becoming a true lamb is not easy. As it says in Luke chapter 10, a person was traveling in Samaria and was set upon by robbers. He was left half dead, and a priest and Levite both saw him and avoided him. But his supposed enemy, a Samaritan, helped him, treated his wounds, took him to an inn, and paid the innkeeper in advance to care for him, and promised to pay more on his way back if it wasn't enough to treat the injured man. It is this kind of person who walks the path of the righteous. Therefore, those who are generous to the lowest are those who treat their neighbors as themselves. These are the true lamb. Matthew chapter 25, verse 41 states, Then he will say to those on his left, Depart from me, you who are cursed into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. Not do for me. Those who are on the left are cursed. Before the kingdom of God can be fulfilled and before the world is made anew, they live together with the Lamb. But when the world is made anew, they cannot live together with those on the right, because they will enter the kingdom of eternal life, and those on the left will enter the eternal fire. Matthew chapter 25, verse 42 through 45 states, For I was hungry, and you gave me nothing to eat. I was thirsty, and you gave me nothing to drink. I was a stranger, and you did not invite me in. I needed clothes, and you did not clothe me. I was sick and in prison, and you did not look after me. They also will answer, Lord, when did we see you hungry, or thirsty, or a stranger, or needing clothes, or sick in prison, and did not help you? You will reply, Truly I tell you, whatever you did not do for one of the least of these, you did not do for me. We hope you can understand that refraining from doing something for the lowest is the same as refraining from doing something for the Lord. John chapter 10, verse 1 through 2 states, Very well, I tell you, Pharisees, anyone who does not enter the sheep pen by the gate but climbs in by some other way is a thief and a robber. The one who enters by the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. It is said that the one who enters through the lamb's gate is the lamb's shepherd. Because the lamb's gate is small, in order to enter through it, we must lower ourselves. We must practice lowering ourselves, and only with that practice can we become impressive leaders ourselves. That is the kind of person who is a true lamb, and the kind of person who can inherit a kingdom that has been prophesied about since the creation. Matthew chapter 25, verse 46 states, then they will go away to eternal punishment, but the righteous to eternal life. This means the goats will be led to eternal punishment and the lamb to eternal life. The righteous will be given eternal life. The sinners will be given eternal punishment. They will be divided thus. The true lamb will be with the true shepherd. We hope you will all be able to go to wherever the young lamb leads, that when the Son of Man appears in his glory, 
with all of the angels that you will be able to stand on the right as a lamb and receive eternal life. <laughs>